Hi everybody, welcome back, or welcome if you're new I suppose. So this is my first ever Poundland haul. I have been a lover of Poundland for a long time, I've been going for many years. Um, this is just the first chance that I've had to share with other people what I bought in Poundland. Thank God for YouTube. I love watching Poundland hauls, I love seeing what other people have got. Um, so I thought when I go next time I'm definitely going to film it so here it is. So I'm going to try and split this into sections and I'm going to start with the sort of food area of things that I bought first. So Poundland actually have a really impressive selection of protein bars, protein shakes, that sort of thing. Not my cup of tea, I'm not a fitness guru by any stretch of the imagination, however my partner very much is. And he's had one of these before and he really liked it, so I got him another one. It is a Pro2Go double chocolate chip protein cookie. And when he had it last time, he said it, it genuinely tasted like a, like a proper chocolate cookie. It just has a lot of protein in it. If that's your kind of thing, then go check it out. But I won't be eating this myself. What I will be eating myself is something not as healthy, which is chocolate eggs. It's Easter, there were eggs everywhere, there was chocolate everywhere. I had to really rein it in. I have a chocolate addiction, so that was hard. But the ones I went for were the Smarties mini eggs, because they're all orange. And wherever I eat Smarties, I literally pick out the orange ones, so this is great. Poundland also have a pretty decent baby section and I got him some Farley's biscuits. Um, I guess they're like the step up from Rusk's, sort of biscotti biscuits and strawberry and peach. He loves these, they're really easy to keep in your bag for if he needs to be entertained. <laughs> they also had a pack of four Tommy Tippy baby feeding spoons um, that I thought was really good value. Um, we're about to go on holiday and he's going to stay with grandparents, so I thought this would be perfect to give them. So sticking with the baby sort of theme, I couldn't resist this. It has already been opened. So they had a bunny ears and tail set, only a pound, and I really, I just had to buy it. Yes, I will be taking an embarrassing photo of him wearing these. I'm one of those mums who loves an embarrassing photo, so this is perfect. They have loads of Easter stuff, like loads, loads of little, those mini chicks, loads of eggs, loads of crafty things. My son's too young to really buy any of those things, but if you have older children, I would definitely go there to get lots of Easter bits. So on to sort of household items now. I really needed some new shower gel or body wash and then I remembered that Fern McCann has brought out her own range in Poundland so I thought I'd give that a go. So I got the Fern Blush Oud body wash and I'll be giving that a go later on. Hopefully it smells really good. I've heard good things about it so I'm excited to give that a go. Now these are really worth talking about. These are the Windeline Glass and Shiny Surfaces wipes. Now that might not sound very exciting, but if you're anything like me, I hate cleaning glass, windows, shower screens. I'm really bad at it. I always make smears. I'm just not very good at it. So these are incredible. They're just like your normal cleaning wipes, which I didn't get any of today because I didn't need any, but they're specially for glass and shiny surfaces and it's just hassle free. You just get one out, wipe it down, there's no streaks. These are a must have in every home, I think. So I didn't get any other cleaning bits, which is unlike me, but actually I just bought lots of cleaning stuff from Aldi um, a few days ago, so I, I didn't need anything else. But I did see these, this is a set of two luggage combination locks. Like I said before, me and my partner are about to go on holiday and we're going to places where it might not be too safe to walk around with a backpack on your back. So these are gonna be really handy if they work. So obviously I went into the homeware section. I could have bought more to be honest. I did have to rein it in a little bit, but I left with this. Now this is three separate items. So I'll start with the bars. This is a sort of marble effect gray bars made of glass. 
I couldn't believe it was only a pound. So I started with that. Then I thought I need some false flowers to go in the vase. And they had these lovely blush pink hydrangeas for a pound each. They were much longer. I had to cut them down to fit the vase. And I also pulled one of the leaves off. So yeah, then I just put them inside. Oh, <gasps> we've lost a leaf. No. Hold on. Panic over. It just went back on. <laughs> yeah, then I just sort of put them inside, not losing any leaves this time. And there you have it. Three pounds for a cute little vase and two flowers to go inside. I think I'm going to put this in my dressing room because it's the right sort of colours. So I was really happy with that. So the main thing that I really went to Poundland for was for my son's birthday. My son turns one next month, uh, which is very exciting. So it's not long after we get back from our holiday. So I want to start getting prepared and buying all the bits for his party. I was really impressed by Poundland's um, selection of party things. It was really easy to stick with the theme because they had lots of stuff the same colour. And yeah, I was really happy with what I found. So I'll start with just a basic white clean tablecloth uh, in white. Not very exciting. There's actually two in there. So for a pound, that's pretty good. They have loads of paper plates, cups, napkins in different matching designs. I got the gold and sort of white effect plates with the matching napkins and matching paper cups as well. You get 20 paper cups in a pack and I believe you get 20 paper plates in the pack as well. I'm not sure I'd have to count them. That looks like a lot of plates. So that's really good value. Then I got some silver and gold confetti for the table that matches the plates and the cups. I also got some candles that still match the colour scheme. Now these I'm really excited about. This is five confetti balloons. So they look like pretty big balloons and they're pre-filled with confetti. You can see from the picture what they will look like. So I'm pretty excited to blow those up and see what they're about. So five for a pound, I thought that was really good value. I love these. They also had pom-poms. They had them in gold or silver, but I thought I'd go with gold because the rest of the stuff was gold. I think I'm gonna hang them above the table when it's all decorated. There are three in a pack. I hope that they're easy to assemble, but I will let you know when I come to decorating for his party. But I was really happy to find those. So then I saw that they have letters and numbers um, foil balloons, which I got really excited about, a pound each. However, it is really hard to find the letters or the numbers that you want, especially when my son's name is mainly vowels, which they seem to have none of. They also didn't have what I wanted in gold, so I've had to get silver, but I'm sure it will look okay. So I managed to get an L, an E, and an O twice, which I was pretty impressed with, but I only managed to get one number one so I'm gonna have to go back for more. But they look really easy to do. You just inflate them yourself, and they have little ties where you can attach them to things on the wall. So I was really chuffed with those, but I am gonna have to go back and get some more. So that was what my trip to Poundland in March looked like. Like I said, it was mostly Easter things because Easter is coming up. So if you're looking for those sort of things, I would definitely go down there now. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to see how all the party decorations go. I'll probably go back and get some more bits. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.